Hits today. AMD announced their Milan X CPUs. These GPUs are selling for way less than MSRP. NVIDIA's first MCM GPU and AMD's RX 7000 cards are set to crush NVIDIA's RTX 4000. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, AMD officially announced the full specs and pricing of their new Epic Milan X CPUs. Remember that Milan X includes AMD's new 3D vCache design, similar to their 5800X 3D. Either way, I figured we'd go over them. First up, this is the 7003 series, which consists of four new CPUs, all of which come with a whopping 768 megabytes of L3 cache and have a configurable TDP of between 225 and 280 watts. Starting things off, we have the 7773X, which is a 64-core, 128-thread CPU that comes in at $8,800. Next is the 7573X, which is a 32-core, 64-thread part that's priced at $5,590. Next, we have the 24-core, 48-thread 7473X, and it'll cost you $3,900. And finally is the 7373X, which is a 16-core, 32-thread part that comes in at $4,000. $185. If you haven't noticed, this is a pretty big price jump over the non-3D vCache parts, but according to AMD, we're looking at a whopping 66% faster RTL verification, so it may very well be worth it for certain applications. But first, I've got a huge announcement to make. If you've been following the PC hardware industry for any amount of time, you know how hard it can be to keep up with all the announcements and release dates. There's always something right around the corner to where even the big releases can get confusing. Well, today I'm announcing the GamerMeld Notification Squad, and it's basically a way to remove all the clutter. Once you sign up, I'll send you notifications when new CPUs, GPUs, and other big hardware get announced with the release dates, as well as a notification when they actually release. I hope to let you know right when it happens so you can be one of the first to buy. And while it is via email, don't worry, I'm only going to send you important stuff. I'm not going to be spamming you with useless emails. So don't wait and be the first in line for new releases by visiting the link in the description below. Next up for today, new GPUs are currently selling for way below MSRP. In a new story originally found by Tom's Hardware, one of Germany's largest retailers, MindFactory.de, is selling AMD's newest RX 6500 XT for around 35% below MSRP. As you can see here, they actually have the PowerColor ITX card for 169 euros, but that includes a 19% VAT charge. If you removed that and converted it, we'd be looking at around just $159. Now, given this is the RX 6500 XT, I personally don't recommend it unless you have PCI Express 4.0. And even then, this card definitely isn't that great. But given where GPU prices have been, it's still great news. It shows just how far things are coming, and it's a great sign of things to come. Now, I will say that Tom's Hardware actually had to visit the page twice before they saw the special pricing, which means they're using cookies to lower the price when you leave and then come back. And that's a good reminder, if you're looking for a new GPU, you may not want to jump on the first deal you see. Coming back later could see it get even lower. And really, that's a huge difference between where we were even just a few weeks ago. Hopefully more GPUs follow suit before long. Next up, it looks like Nvidia is set to unveil their next generation of GPUs tomorrow. In a new blog post, the company teased their upcoming Hopper series for their GTC conference. Of course, Hopper is their next generation AI cards, but what's really interesting is that Hopper has been rumored for quite some time to be Nvidia's jump into multi-chip modules. Remember that MCM GPUs are set to be the big leap in overcoming performance barriers with current technology. Apple's M1 Ultra is an MCM part, and so is AMD's MI200. And what's even bigger is that we actually have our first leak for tomorrow's conference. Conference. The information apparently comes from NVIDIA's recent hack, but given it's set to be unveiled so soon, I figured it would be interesting to discuss, especially given one user actually made a block diagram from the information. And as you can see, the card is the GH100, and it supposedly comes with 48 megabytes of L2 cache, which is barely an upgrade over the A100. Interestingly, only one of the GPCs come with 3D logic, so NVIDIA is not making every cluster the same. If the number of cores per SM remains the same, we're also looking at 9,216 CUDA cores, 
which is a decent jump over the A100, but not so much over the actual GA100 GPU that it's made from. And this is where things get interesting. This is a monolithic die, but according to video cards, rumors have pointed to the GH202 being the MCM design, and that may feature two GH100 GPUs combined into one, which would certainly explain why this isn't looking like a big jump over last gen. Though of course, the architecture is more important than the amount of cores anyway, so it could be a bigger boost in performance than it seems. Either way, we should learn more very soon. And of course, if you want to stay up to date on all the interesting news coming out, make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld and hit that bell icon. And lastly for today, it looks like AMD may be set to win the next-gen GPU war. In a recent video from Moore's Law is Dead, he claims that AMD's RX 7000 GPUs are set to not only be more powerful than Nvidia's Lovelace or RTX 4000 cards, but they're set to be more efficient as well, at least given the information that he's hearing from his sources. And if you've been following this channel, you know that this is about what we've been hearing. Lovelace looks to be a huge power hog, and while the RX 7000 cards are set to consume more power than the RX 6000 series, it doesn't look like it'll reach Nvidia's cards. According to Moore's Law's Dead, the original target for Lovelace was between 60 and 80% faster than Ampere, which is still a huge performance jump, but Nvidia ended up pushing it further, likely with the hopes of better competing with AMD. But because they pushed it much further than it was made to do, Nvidia looks to be blowing out the efficiency. And what's wild is that according to Moore's Law's Dead, AMD should blow Nvidia out of the water with efficiency, and maybe even while taking the top performance spot. That's a pretty big deal. At the end of the day, if this ends up being right, AMD could soon dominate NVIDIA. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, who do you think will come out on top with next-gen GPUs? Plus, if you join the notification squad, let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day!